Hello guys, welcome to another episode of Dark's Kingdom. In my previous video, I showed you guys the OLM OCR, which is the best open source PDF to text converter. And so in this video, uh, we're going to show another one, which is called what Docto Roam OCR. So this OCR is actually um, a competitor of the OLM OCR, and it is using the Q12 VL7B vision language model, and it is uh, claimed to be faster, useless memory, and still performs well on a variety of document types. Um, so this is actually fine-tuned version of the Q1 2.5 VL7V instruct on the full LAI OLM OCR Mix uh, 0225 dataset. So the key changes of this new model, first it has a more recent updated version of the existing model, uh, the Q1 2.5 VL7V, and the 7 uh, B is probably a, a good uh, size of the model. And then the second one is no metadata uh, inputs. So basically the original one uh, has it, which slows it down. And this new uh, ROM OCR, they don't use the metadata extraction from the PDFs. So this significantly reduces a prompt length, so which is true. And because the metadata actually takes a lot of the uh, content. so and the rotation of the training data. So it claims to about 15% of the training data was rotated to enhance robustness uh, to off-angle documents. So, which is uh, nice. And if you want to set this up, uh, they recommended uh, VLM, which is what we did. So we'll show you guys a little bit uh, later in this video. So uh, you do not need to worry about the use V1 version. Uh, if you don't use it, it is fine. And uh, basically, you just need to do a uh, VLM uh, serve redacto uh, row uh, OCR. This is a little bit simplified. I'll show the actual configuration you can run on Kego for free. And uh, so if you want to try the CLI version, so this is basically the CLI version. Um, and also add it in here. So uh, you can see this is actually pretty straightforward. So you just need to spin up the model and then make a call to it. So, uh, here's the actual, the actual conversion for VLM. So I have a tutorial. The link is in the description. So it will show you how to build and install and run, uh, VLM on Kaggle for free with Kaggle's two, uh, T4 GPUs you can see here. Uh, so basically 100% free and you got two GPUs to run the VLM on Kaggle. So you can follow that tutorial to set up the VLM and or you can do the same thing on localhost, but uh, Kaggle has two free GPUs. Uh, so the configuration uh, is very straightforward. So you do need the model. So, and then you, you pass in a D type API key, which is to make it more secure. You also want to enable two GPUs and also enforce either pipeline parallel size goes to one and GPU memory utilization is uh, 0.98 and max model length. You can increase it, but you can see here, uh, it's all of uh, almost like 15 gigs. So you probably want to uh, increase a little bit if you want it. Um, and then you also uh, want to set the trust remote code and also the served model name, which is alias for the model you call, which I just put the same as the uh, repo name. So that should be the VLM configuration. And so for uh, the testing purpose, we do prefer to use the OpenWeb UI. I have a tutorial as well, uh, or multiple tutorials in this channel to show, show you how to set up OpenWeb UI on Kaggle for free with Kaggle's uh, disk and also CPUs. So you can see there are uh, 30 gigs of the CPU and also uh, almost 70 gigs of the uh, disk. This is a little bit uh, less. It shows about 60 gigs, but um, it actually can go up to more uh, 70 gigs, uh, just uh, not persistent storage. So if you want to try this out, uh, you can definitely try this out with the, uh, so, and also you can see it's only about 10 gigs for the open web UI. So it should be good enough to uh, run this on Kaggle. And so if you follow the other tutorials I have in this channel for open web UI, you should be able to set it up as I demo in here. So you can see everything is set up. It's a uh, 9BC three and if you scroll down a little bit uh so this is actually running uh you can see here's nine bc3 so which is the one that's running right now you can see here uh so basically we try to fill 
things which uh, which is like images and also pdfs so they do take the images and pdfs so not just pdfs or images so you can see here i'll upload the image and i'll ask uh, this model what is in the image all right it says uh, the image shows a black and white photograph of a dog with a fluffy coat the dog has a distinctive marking on its forehead that resembles eyeballs uh, eyebrows which gives it a unique appearance this is very accurate and super nicely described so very nice and then uh, we also tried the pdfs uh, so you can upload the pdf as a uh, pdf file or you can actually do a screenshot as a uh, image so we tried both uh, both are working very well you can see from the uh, image it just uh, described or captured exactly what uh, the image is right so you can see it's a sample pdf and created for testing pdf object the pdf is three pages long which is the text described in the image if you upload a image you can see here basically uh, there's a pdf that's the same right we upload it here it's a sample pdf and you can see here it also uh, described or captured everything in the pdf uh, very nicely super super nice and it is pretty fast as well so uh, so it's, uh, even though you can see the memory is actually almost uh, 15 gigs but uh, the speed is very quickly uh, so it's a very nice model um, hopefully this is helpful and you can try it out on kego.com and set up the vlm and open web ui for free and hopefully uh, you enjoyed this video and if you do like it please subscribe like or comment if you have any questions uh, thank you so much for supporting the channel and see you in the next one.